Hello. I am the storyteller. And today we will talk about Sorrento. Sorrento is a town overlooking the Bay of Naples in southern Italy. A popular tourist destination due to its variety of small antique shops and location on the Amalfi Coast, it can be reached easily from Naples and Pompeii as it is at the southeastern end of the Circumvesuviana rail line. The town is most known for its small shops selling ceramics, lacework and marquetry. The Sorrentine Peninsula has views of Naples, Vesuvius and the Isle of Capri. The Amalfi Drive, connecting Sorrento and Amalfi, is a narrow road that threads along the high cliffs above the Tyrrhenian Sea. Ferries and hydrofoils connect the town to Naples, Amalfi, Positano, Capri and Ischia. Sorrento's sea cliffs and luxury hotels have attracted celebrities including Enrico Caruso and Luciano Pavarotti. Limoncello, a digestif made from lemon rinds, alcohol, water and sugar, is produced in Sorrento. Other agricultural production includes citrus fruit, wine, nuts and olives. The Roman name for Sorrento was Sorrentum. Legends indicate a close connection between Lipera and Sorrentum, as though the latter had been a colony of the former, and even through the imperial period Sorrentum remained largely Greek. Numerous sepulchral inscriptions of imperial slaves and freedmen have been found at Sorrentum. The most important temples of Sorrentum were those of Athena and of the Sirens, the former gave its name to the promontory. The position of Sorrentum was very secure, protected by deep gorges. The arrangement of the modern streets preserves that of the ancient town, and the disposition of the walled paths which divide the plain to the east seems to date in like manner from Roman times. No ruins are now preserved in the town itself, but there are many remains in the villa quarter to the east of the town on the road to Stabi, of which traces still exist, running much higher than the modern road, across the mountain, the site of one of the largest is now occupied by the Hotel Victoria, under the terrace of which a small theatre was found in 1855, an ancient rock-cut tunnel descends hence to the shore. Remains of other villas may be seen, but the most important ruin is the reservoir of the aqueducts just outside the town on the east, which had no less than 27 chambers each about 270 by 60 centimetres. Greek and Oscan tombs have also been found. Another suburb lay below the town and on the promontory on the west of it, under the Hotel Serena are substructions and a rock-hewn tunnel. Two, of which remains still exist. Farther west again are villas, as far as the Temple of Athena on the promontory named after her at the extremity of the peninsula. The ancient city was probably connected to the Ausoni tribe, one of the most ancient ethnic groups in the area. Sorrento became an archbishopric around 420 AD. After the fall of the Western Roman Empire, it was ruled by the Ostrogoths and then returned to the Eastern Empire. The Lombards, who conquered much of southern Italy in the second half of the 6th century, besieged it in vain. In the following centuries the authority of the distant empire of Byzantium faded, initially part of the substantially independent Duchy of Naples, later Sorrento became in turn an autonomous duchy in the 9th century. It fought against neighboring slash rival Amalfi, the Saracens and the nearby Lombardic duchies, such as that of Benevento, whose forces besieged it in 839, although Sorrento was able to resist with Neapolitan help. Sorrentine forces took part in the anti-Saracen leagues at the battles of Lacosa and Ostia. The duchy was ruled by figures elected by the people, which received honorary titles from the Byzantine emperor. In 1035 the city was acquired by Gamer IV of Salerno, who gave it to his brother Guy. After a brief return under the duchy of Naples, it returned in Lombard hands with Gisulf II of Salerno, when the latter was defeated by Robert Guiscard. Sorrento entered the Norman sphere of influence, any residual independence was ended in 1137 when it was conquered by Roger II of Sicily, and annexed to the Kingdom of Sicily. On June 13, 1558 it was sacked by elements of the Ottoman navy under the command of Dragut and his lieutenant Piali, as part of the struggle between the Turks and Spain, which controlled the southern half of Italy at that time. 2,000 captives were reportedly taken away. This struggle was waged throughout the Mediterranean and lasted many decades. The attackers were not pirates as often characterized, though some may have been mercenaries from North Africa. The campaigns were conducted on the direct orders of Sultan Suleiman. The attack led to the construction of a new line of walls. The most striking event of the following century was the revolt against Spanish domination of 1648, led by Giovanni Grillo. In 1656 a plague struck the city. However, Sorrento remained one of the most important centers of southern Campania. Sorrento entered into the Neapolitan Republic of 1799, but in vain. In the 19th century the economy of the city improved markedly, favored by the development of agriculture, tourism and trade. A route connecting Sorrento to Castellamare di Stabia was opened under the reign of Ferdinand II. In 1861 Sorrento was officially annexed to the new Kingdom of Italy. 
In the following years it confirmed and increased its status of one of the most renowned tourist destinations of Italy, a trend which continued into the 20th century. Famous people who visited it include Lord Byron, Keats, Gouda, Henrik Ibsen, and Walter Scott. The two main processions that take place in Sorrento on Good Friday are the procession of Our Lady of Sorrows, organized by the Venerable Archiconfraternita of St. Monica and the procession of the Crucified Christ, organized by the Venerable Archiconfraternita of the Death. The first procession takes place at 3.30 a.m. on Holy Thursday and involves hundreds of participants dressed in hooded white gowns. The Madonna is carried aloft in the procession and is accompanied by several religious articles, as she searches the town looking for her son. The procession starts in Corso Italia, turns through Piazza Tasso, and then visits each of the town's churches, stopping in each one for a short ceremony. The Madonna is accompanied by aides carrying incense, and a large male choir and band. The procession concludes at 5.30 a.m. The second procession occurs at 8 p.m. on Good Friday and reflects the Madonna's mourning as she finds her son dead. Hundreds of participants, dressed this time in hooded black gowns, march down Corso Italia, and then win through the smaller lanes of Sorrento. This second procession is much larger and better attended. Sorrento experiences a Mediterranean climate. With mild, wet winters and warm, dry summers. The mild climate and fertility of the Gulf of Naples made the region famous during Roman times, when emperors such as Claudius and Tiberius holidayed nearby. Temperatures can get as high as 29 degrees Celsius in April, as happened in 2013. Sorrento has been visited by Lord Byron, John Keats, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, Charles Dickens, Richard Wagner, Henrik Ibsen, and Friedrich Nietzsche. Sorrento was the birthplace of the poet Torquato Tasso, author of the Jerusalemme Liberata. The town was quite famously featured in the early 20th century song Torna a Sorrento with lyrics by John Battista de Curtis, brother of the song's composer, Ernesto de Curtis. In the 1920s, famous Soviet writer Maxim Gorky lived in Sorrento. After the song Torna a Sorrento, the second masterpiece, which has spread the fame of Sorrento in the world, is Caruso, a song composed in Sorrento, in the summer of 1985 by the Bolognese singer-songwriter Lucio Dalla, whose 50 years ties with Sorrento are described in the novel by the Sorrentine writer, Raffaella Loro, titled Caruso the Song, Lucio Dalla and Sorrento, which was released in December 2014. The local football team is football club Sorrento who play at the Stadio Italia, and currently play in the Eccellenza Campania of the Italian Football League. Amalfi Coast Marina Grand, Port of Sorrento Marina Piccola small port of Sorrento Park of Villa Communale with a view of the Gulf of Naples with the volcano Vesuvius Piazza Tasso, central place in Sorrento Museo della Tarsia Lignea Museum Coriol, museum with small archaeologic department via San Cesario, Sorrento's main shopping street Cathedral of Sorrento, from the 14th century with facade reconstructed in 1924. It was built over time in different styles, with doors of the 11th century from Constantinople. Church of Santi Felici Bacolo Monastery of St. Francesco, 14th-century Roman ruins at the Punta del Capo.